Explore Resources Inc. on the Venture Exchange in Canada under the ticket code EXS on Frankfurt E1H1 and the OTC markets EXSFF is a gold explorer in the Abitibi Greenstone Belt in Canada uh, with a huge resource of, uh, of over 1.8 kilometres in strength. And joining me right now via Skype is President Chris Dupont. Welcome, Chris. Hello, Tim. It's nice to talk to you again. It's always nice to talk to you, Chris, and you've just made a recent announcement about some, some drilling. But before we talk about that, let's just give people who are not familiar with the story just a little bit of a refresher. You've got, uh, you've got quite a significant um, uh, deposit there that you've outlined in what's called elephant country. Please explain. Well, it's in elephant country because most of the deposits in the Timmins area are huge deposits. The Hollinger produced over 20 million ounces, the McIntyre 10 million ounces, and the Dome over 18 and a half million ounces to date. The Dome is still in production having started in 1909. Now what we have on our property, we call it the Hollinger McIntyre model, which is a porphyry, and you've got gold on the north side of the porphyry, gold on the south side of the porphyry, as similar to the Hollinger McIntyre, where the Hollinger was on the north, it's on the south side of the porphyry rather, and the McIntyre on the north side of the porphyry and produced a total of over 30 million ounces of gold. Now our porphyry, which is significantly bigger than the Hollinger McIntyre porphyry, about five times bigger than that, we have a strike length to date of 2,000 meters. Now it's open on both ends. We've got another kilometer on both ends of the property that we haven't explored. And it goes down to, according to the model, a potential of 1,800 meters. So right now, We've defined an area that's 1,800 meters long for an open pit with three open pits on the property and two areas that we have to do additional drilling. We've been drilling area B, and on there we found more gold. That brings, me to the, that bring, brings us to that recent announcement um, uh, in the last day or so. Um, and what's astonishing to me is you've drilled 126 holes in, in this uh, program and 121 of them have intersected gold values. Yeah, that's fantastic, really. That's unbelievable. And so the, you've just done uh, extended five holes and, and you've found something there. And also you've drilled three new diamond holes and found something else. Please tell us about that. Well, what was really, really interesting is that my geologist theorized that the high-grade shear zone from the high-grade at depth that we have in the western part of the property would go all the way over to the eastern part of the property. So he said, well, why don't we extend holes 101, 103, 104, to see if shear zone 5 comes up. And lo and behold, we intersected shear zone 5. That means shear zone 5 will probably be at least 1.8 kilometers of strike length, which is fantastic because that's a high-grade shear zone. Now, in addition to that, we turned around and extended it, and we intersected shear zone 6, which is brand spanking new mineralized shear zone that we didn't even know existed there. So now we have six mineralized shear zones on the property. The first two, shear zone one, two, and three are lower grade. Shear zone four and five are higher grade. And now we have shear zone six that we have to define and see what kind of grade we have in there. So, you know, from the announcement I saw, you've got an open pit outline there. And I guess you're, the object here is to join all those mineralized areas into a contiguous open pit structure. Well, that's the plan, eh? to tie in area A and area B on the model and have one huge open pit that's 1.8 kilometers of strike length. And that's why we drill those three additional holes in area B and we intersected gold in all three holes, which is fantastic. That means the gold is there. It is. It sure is interesting news. And of course, you're in an area with, that is um, heavily occupied by major gold miners in Canada. And this must be of interest to, to the majors somewhere along the line. I suspect it will be a very major interest. We have Tahoe, which is our immediate neighbors. You know, they'll see this open pit as, as quite an addition to their stable if they ever <laughs> decide to pick it up, right? And then we also have Gold Corp in Timmins. Now, Gold Corp is doing a major study. They're proposing a 50,000 ton a day mill that they're going to build in Timmins. Now, when you have a mill of that size, that's a monster you have to feed. So that means any gold explorers in the Timmins camp that have a resource will become a potential target for Gold Corp. 
That's fantastic news. Chris Dupont joining me from uh, New Brunswick regarding the Timmins Porcupine West project. Chris, thank you very much for joining us today. Well, thank you very much, Tim. I'm really, really excited about this project at this point. Thank you.